hello everyone this is Aurelia at Aurelia's Crafting Ideas. I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you and I hope that you will join me. The Dollar Tree has a lot of new books coming in so take a look at your Dollar Tree and take a look at all the new ones that they have. I picked up this book well I picked up several. This is Abandoned Donovan Book 2. So it looks like this is a series and it's by W. Michael Gear. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, sometimes, you know, they show like book one, book two. Oh, here we go. The Donovan series. There, apparently, there are three. So I have book two. I will need to track down book one and book three. It looked like a very good read, so I picked that up. And then I also picked up two of these. This is Summoned to the, the 13th Grave. It is by Darnda Jones. Interesting. I like that. I might quasi cut that. <laughs> I bought two because I want to use one in um, like part of my house decor for Halloween and the other one I want to well I guess I can read it then display it right <laughs> but this one I want to take apart for scrapbooking I thought it would be really cute and let's see it doesn't say if it's like a series or not, but I like the cover. It'll make it'll make a, a really cute uh, scrapbooking project. I like it. So I, yeah, I picked up two of those, and then I found this one too. This is the World of Pole Dark by Emma Marriott, and then this is masterpiece presentation on PBS look at the back I like that yeah have you guys watched pole dark <laughs> it's fun I enjoyed watching this series so these are just like movie clips Okay, where is that famous pick? <laughs> well, you know which one I'm talking about. Where is it? Gotta be in here or it wouldn't be a pole dart masterpiece PBS book. <laughs> then again, but maybe that's why. <laughs> hmm. Well. It is not in here. <laughs> well, you know which one I'm talking about. But yeah, look, I, I love the, all the photographs on there. So when I have more time, I will sit down and take a look at that. And then I picked up some diffuser. I picked up the Garden Rain uh, scent one. I picked up two because I, I had the chance to smell it in the store so I like the way it smells so it has the seal on the top but I opened it from the bottom <laughs> well if you're gentle you can put it back together very neatly but anyways I'm gonna take mine apart Okay, so it comes with these reeds in there, and then, look at that, yeah, like, I'm open it like you can smell it, but it does smell really good, oh, yummy, I picked up two, uh, one for my craft room, and then the other one can go maybe in the hallway, somewhere, but I like the little bottles too, even after I used up the the fragrance I can reuse the bottle 
I had um, picked up one and they have like, um, let me grab that right quick. I had picked up this one before. This is the pink amber poppy and this is, it smells really good too. And I bought two also. And what I did was I took the oil out of this container and then refilled my bottle and uh, that way I can use these containers quicker than I need to. <laughs> I don't know if you wanted to know that information, but there it is. <laughs> and then I picked up this yarn. It is Just Yarn, Premier Just Yarn Tweed. And look at this. It's like a multicolored yarn. I like that one. I... I will find a use for it for sure but I like the the way that it goes they also have a, like a grayish one with the same multicolored uh, yarn <laughs> so I picked up one anyhow this is called rust tweed and then I also found this patch it is uh, one of the quilt patches and it's a butterfly. Look at that. How cute is that? I picked up only one because I don't know why. I know better. <laughs> it's a really cute. I Yeah. One came home with me. And then I picked this up. Look at this. Pink rubber, rubber duckies. I've seen them before but I never picked it up. <laughs> I'll... I believe I have bought the yellow ones before, but in a larger size. But these are miniatures. Look at that. How cute are they? I was thinking of a Halloween project. This year, I want to um, put skeleton in a bathtub and then add some duckies. How cute will that look, right? <laughs> and the last two items I picked up are these. Look at this. How cute. This is the first time I've seen this. It's a, like a honeycomb pattern and it's got some leaves going through and it says beauty doesn't rinse off. How adorable. So I found it in this one with the beauty and then I found it in this one. This one is beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. How clever, right? Nice. So I was trying, thinking I can nest them together but look at this just so that you are aware <laughs> I was thinking yeah honeycomb I can nest them but for some odd reason they're cut a little uneven maybe but yeah I tried squishing it together too but it didn't work out too well maybe I can like add something in here and that way I won't see the gaps and it will nest perfectly i was looking for a third one because that's how dollar tree works right <laughs> so maybe uh if i check another store i might be able to find a third one then again it might just be the two patterns but still how cute is that adorableness and then if i ever decide to change it out i can just pull the the top layer off see and then replace it the, uh, the message or the replace pictures whatever I want to do or you can just cut out little pieces in here and then attach them and then you don't have to pull this off but yeah it's a nice solid piece look at that and they stand up really well I'm quite happy with my new wall decor I am quite happy with everything I found this week at my Dollar Tree. Well, take a look at your store and yeah, take a look at all the new books that they have out. Quite happy with the selection I picked up today. And I'm still checking yarns weekly to see what new colors that they have. I always look forward to that, you know? Little things, right? Oh, forgot one thing. Sorry. Look at this. I picked up this jar. It's an iridescent jar. Sorry about that. It blended in right in with my crafting stuff. 
<laughs> How adorable, right? Look at that. Just cute. They do come in different patterns um, on this one. I think there's like four different, four or five different styles. So take a look at when you go visit your Dollar Tree. Well, I hope you find everything you have on your wish list next time you go stop at your local Dollar Tree. This is Aurelia at Aurelia's Crafting Ideas, and I will see you next time. Ah, oh, it is a series. Look at that. So, Charlie Davidson, Grim Reaper extraordinaire, is pissed. She's been kicked off the earthly plane for eternity, which is exactly the amount of time it takes to make a person stark, raving mad. But someone's looking out for her, and she's allowed to return after a mere hundred years in exile. It is too much to hope for that not much has changed. Apparently it is. Bummer. <laughs> Ooh, it's going to be a good read. I'm quite looking forward to that. So, let me see. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> Apparently, well, it is a series, but it must be all about the same person. There's quite a 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15 books. So where does the 13th fall in? So it must be, it must fall here on the end then. Because this is the final installment in the whole series. Huh. So I would need to, I will need to go look this up to see if it's about the same person. If it is, I will need to start with number one and work my way down. I'm quite looking forward to this. Ooh, nice.